हेलो एवरी वन दिस इज प्रियंका सिंह आई एम वर्किंग हियर एज अ प्रोजेक्ट स्टाफ इन ब्लैंडेड मुक्स डेवलपमेंट टीम नाउ आई एम गोइंग टू सम सो कॉल्ड टीचिंग पाइथन थिंग सो हाउ मेनी ऑफ यू लिटरली अवेयर ऑफ पाइथन एनी थिंग अबाउट ओके सो दिस इज लाइक रिविजन क्लास फॉर यू एंड इफ एनी बडी डज एंड नो अबाउट पाइथन देन डोंट fair because it's very easy as compared to as you have all programmed in c c++ or java so we'll start with whatever content i'm going to uh, cover here next so these are the contents uh, these are only basic contents i'm going to cover so little bit history is there uh, python was created in 1991 so it's a very old language by guido van rossum he's a guy from some netherland then you have this python.org is a official website of python the there the, you will get every kind of documentation uh, tutorials and uh, we are using current versions 2.7.6 and 3.4.0 these are the current versions of python next features actually Py why we call it python a strong language because it is very robust so much features it covers like it's very simple if you will write python code you will feel like i am writing simple english thing it is not so much strictly typed it's loosely typed language it's easy to learn because of its syntactic nature then it's free and open source anybody can distribute it you can modify codes so the main advantage of open source thing is it's very robust you can always uh, have new things to learn and new things to see this is general purpose high level scripting language so why we are calling it a scripting language because here i have written it's interpreted it's not uh, it's not compiled language it's interpreted language so it's a scripting language because uh, you can make some applications very easily you can run easily it doesn't consume so much memory and so much time to run then it supports object oriented as well as procedural programming like you all know c is a procedural language why we make so much functions modules there so we call it procedural language so here python has features of we can make functions uh, independent modules and then it has object oriented feature also i guess any uh, everyone is aware of object oriented features like uh, you have learned c++ and java so it has also this benefit then clear syntax and is expressive i have always uh, then this is portable also this is also one very uh, benefit of interpreted language it's portable why because it is not convertible into a machine um, format it's always contains some intermediate codes what we call it byte code so if you are running it so for example linux or uh, windows or any other os it is very easily portable just byte codes in uh, portable and then you can run it then it's extensible and embeddable if you know scripting languages this is the feature you can embed it in html java script and all then it's it has very extensive libraries uh, while coding you will learn its packages and libraries to use how to run python so if you are using linux and you will type in terminal python it's already installed for example here this is in my laptop it's 2.7.3 version there it's telling when you will run python it's telling you the current version and also it's opened its uh, interpreted prompt this uh, three arrows this is interpreted prompt here you can run your program as it is without writing in some files or something so now i am going to explain about our first program uh, in every language you write hello world is the basic program you write to get aware so it's like in prompt i am uh, writing this i have written this in interpreted prompt and it's like print hello world then i have also explained three difference as uh, i said it is no strictly typed language syntax doesn't matter that much so here is three style of printing hello world if you will try it in your terminal these three all printed same as it is but yeah, uh, the main syntax is first one defined one you can also write your program using an editor like vim editor or gedit editor so you can just uh, open any file for example i have opened this vim hello.py then here it's i have written the program then again for running you have just to uh, then you have to just in the here side i have explained you have to just tell about what interpreter you are going to use to running your program 
So for example, here I had opened, then I have written this program, close the VM editor, then you have to just write python hello.py. Uh, you are telling your system that python is the interpreter which will uh, run your program and then it has already run. Uh, next are the common data types. String, int, float, long, this all you have read in C. Boolean was in Java, I guess. Then these are the new data types, dictionary, list and set. So I guess Python's main feature is these things, dictionary and list and string. So here I have explained how to declare some data types. Okay. So this is also one interesting thing about Python. I have never written this like int variable name or string variable name because Python already take it. You don't have to specify what data type you are going to write. You have just written, it will automatically take, okay, this is a string, this is int, this is float, and this is list or something. So I will explain later what the dictionary and list. So first we are going to telling about uh, string. I guess whenever you write any program or uh, any code, string manipulation is the basic thing you need to know. There are very much string functions, for example, upper, lower, split. You have to specify string. Uh, like f any fundamental languages in uh, this double quotes. So this is how, this is all the uh, run programming terminal. So you need to just, if you want to practice, you can take this, just type it and you will learn. So this is a dot upper. It has changed this string in uppercase letter in lowercase and a dot split. It has taken splitting arguments. Here I have uh, passed white space as argument. So it has just splitted the string. Then there are other many more uh, methods like strip, replace. Then for example, here it is uh, a dot replace. What it has done? It has replaced your explanation, explanation marks with question mark. Like it always replaced first argument with second argument. Then a dot starts with, it is just telling in Boolean, it's true or not that your string is going to start with some characters. For example, here str. Then uh, this len a, it is telling you your length of string. So in C, we have always seen that uh, in any string, there will be a terminal character, null character at the end. But in Python, it's not like that. There is no null character. So the 16 is the length. Then you can concatenate, concatenate two strings using plus. One important feature of string is that it's immutable data type. Why it is immutable data type? Because if you have specified a string in some string literal, you cannot change it further. You cannot modify it. You cannot append it. So it's a immutable data type. What its definition says about strip? If you are, uh, for example, a is the string I have defined. So it just takes from the starting index to last index. It's just for showing, like your string is from where to where. That's it. It's like to covering off your string, that's it. Then uh, you will not get this thing in any other language. It's a string formatting. It's very cool thing about Python. What it is, here we have format operator. Uh, this uh, modulo sign and then format uh, method. What is this? Uh, for example, you are writing some code. There is some specifications. You don't know what to write. You can pass arguments so that it will take after it. For example, here what I have written cat it in the percent s. You all know percent s is the type specification for string. So here I have passed hat with this modulo. So what will it, uh, when it will give output, it will automatically uh, take hat on this place. So then there same thing what do format function. Format function also. 0 is what your first argument, okay. So here we have uh, passed one argument, it will take automatically here while, while all examples are very simple, you can uh, see and will understand eventually that here for example 0 and 1. So 0 is replaced by hat and 1 is replaced by that, it's simple. Here also you have specified thing and here you have uh, in format you are giving definition of thing, okay. So this is the good thing about uh, Python. Then you can use Python as calculator. For example, basic mathematics uh, operators are here. You have all known this.
then this is uh, just simple by interpreter prompt how can you do some basic calculations now we have come to list list is basically in data structures you have studied linked list stacks queues and all so uh, some combined features are here in list a list is a data structure that holds an ordered collection of items in list you can store you know sequence of items for example your shopping list like that you can store here and uh, it is mutable data type i will explain it in uh, next slide for example here i have explained the syntax of it shop list here i have this shopping list what i want to buy or something then uh, whenever you are writing your list you have to specify your list in square brackets because the square bracket tells python interpreter that this is going to be your list then these are some examples why we are calling it a list as a mutable data type because as i explained in a string that was immutable so unlike that it is mutable because we can append it remove some items replace some item reverse it we can have manipulation over list that's why we are calling it mutable so here i have like append you have uh, added one item then pop it's like just stack it will remove your top element then reverse count how much time one element is there it will say then shorting these are all basic data structure methods then dictionary dictionary is like a address book in address book you like for example name then corresponding address or something so here in dictionary what we do this consist of pairs keys and the corresponding values for every value you have some key to represent it the dictionaries that you will be using are instances or object of the dict class so in further slides i will explain class uh, uh, thing so here it's like we have some dict class in our python libraries so dictionary whenever you uh, declare or use it will always be a object of dict class python dictionaries are also known as associative arrays or hash tables if you remember about hash tables there also we have keys corresponding to values so that's why we are comparing our uh, dictionary with associative arrays or hash tables so general syntax is what every pair will be attached with colon and then uh, separated by comma and in a curly brace it's also a syntax to uh, aware python interpreter then we have some examples of dictionary for example uh, first of all i have given four items here now here it's what a is the value then one is the corresponding key value then for example three for three three is the key only three value and three key then uh, for dictionary there are some keywords like in and not in so you can ask uh, uh, your python that this uh, element is in dictionary in i have not shown not in that is also there you can also have not in so if not in is correct it will uh, return you false so this is uh, it returns boolean value here then what's happening uh, this d square bracket d equals to d what is that d is our dictionary name then uh, d uh, inside the square bracket it's the value okay uh, yeah it's little bit opposite you should have key in the uh, inside the square bracket but here it is opposite here we uh, give value here and then key here okay so it's like when i have uh, again typed t it is showing the updated list dd okay then again you can also uh, append some items like this also i have defined one e variable here i have created one new dictionary ee and then i just did d dot update and it got updated then i uh, we are switching over control flows everybody knows if state means while loop and uh, what for loop so here are some uh, conditional operators through which you manipulate your decision makings in control flows now it's if statement actually it's very similar just you have to worry about little bit syntax change here what we do no parenthesis we don't need parenthesis to spe specified in a decision then colon for aware that these are the statements to execute and then one uh, another major change is elif what we do in uh, in c there are very kind of uh, different different if else structure here what we do for example i can write like if else if else but it would be what your program would be some bigger and yeah python in python you have to uh, emphasis on indentation if you have not correct indentation it will give you error 
so that's why lf is very important because the headache on uh, this indentation thing and the length of program is got little uh, reduced so this is only lf for some other condition than else then it got printed whatever decision was true then for loop in for loop the two th three different things are for example in so we uh, sequence through this in keyword it checks the, that your x is in this range or not so it goes from the first argument up to second argument for example here 1 2 3 so 1 2 4 in not included 4 then here is other uh, method also for example uh, i have defined this list now i am sequencing for loop through this list only no range nothing and colon again for making you aware that the, these are the statements to execute yeah while loop in while loop actually the same as for loop here just you do some uh, sequencing till some counter for example count here we will print 0 1 2 3 till we will go to 4 and now functions so as i told you that uh, python has procedural functionality also so you can create your different different logics into different different modules what we call function so here uh, def is the keyword to define a function hello is the function name then we are passing a argument called name which i have defined fish initially you can change it further now that uh, format method is used here okay so in name whatever argument you have passed it will print here in zero so here it's for example hello without argument it just has taken its default argument what i have specified fish then i have changed here for example ken then i have named kenny and all so you can change it it's not like only default value uh -huh. then also some how can you return you can return more than one value one value because here for example in first uh, statement i have written only one value a plus b but here i have written two values so uh, you can experiment with it and then next is classes you have read that class and object is the fundamental thing of object oriented languages what are the classes they are new uh, you are defining some new type in your language or in your program then objects objects are called instance variable of classes you talk to talk through objects in your language whatever methods and functions you have defined in classes those are called the functionalities of objects you can call these functions by your object and the new thing here is self what is self whenever you will define any function any function you will have to give this self because self is the keyword to call its object itself it just call this class objects nothing else here for example in it is the to initialize that class so here self first last first class is the like parameters we will have to uh, manipulate then self it will just call the class object here i have defined like uh, these things the some different different methods which i will use in next slide uh, for example now my is what my is the object because i am passing this class parameters in it okay so uh, joe is the uh, value for first you have remember the previous slide so joe is the for first smith is for second so now i have typed my dot first is joe my dot last is smith my dot full name so here it's for example uh, this function you can refer full name okay 0 1 format then 0 i have passed just first and last then you have just called you have you can also change something for example here what uh, my dot status in init method i have uh, initialized the status with new but now i have changed it with old and it is has taken the current value then exceptions so in c c plus plus exceptions were not there but in java exceptions were there for uh, example if you know already in code what uh, code statements can raise exceptions or errors so you take care of them in your code here we have this try except statements uh, i know that a divided by b can raise error if i will divide it by zero so i have put it in try clause okay so whenever the interpreter will go to try uh, if that exception is raised it will auto automatically go in accept clause here what happened uh, when i pass 2 comma 1 
then what is happening it's a normal statement so 2 got printed when i am passing 2 comma 0 so it's raising an exception it is going to uh, the except clause and it's returning 0 you can also define your exceptions as well for example here what i have defined some my exception class or something what is happening if it will go in except clause it is saying that zero division error is exception and then what it will raise it will raise this statement for example you are returning zero when you are going to uh, some user is going to run your code he doesn't know what is the meaning of this returning zero because obviously if you are divided in two by zero it will not get output as zero here if you are saying uh, divided by zero then what is happening the user will know come to know yeah your test case is wrong you should not divide by zero then this is the last slide file handling uh, i am not telling much about file handling in c also there is file handling it's just that you will open some file there would be some mode like read write and all read would be the default mode and dot txt would be the default type if you are not ex uh, explaining any type then it will take this then you will write through this for example uh, here what have uh, what i have done if i'll show you example then what happened poem is for something a variable something i can write uh, some string or this thing then i am passing it in write it will write automatically in your file now we are closing if you will open that file then that uh, variable value will be printed in your file